Welcome to PWCI This Week. I'm the Mad Conservative Crime Fighter, and as you can see, we're in Troy, Missouri, at the home of World League Wrestling. Head of their uh, huge event. Out of Champions 3 coming on March the 9th, just a couple of miles from their uh, home in Troy, Missouri, in Moscow Mills, Missouri. Musco Mills at the uh, Trice County Sports Center. But one week after, they're coming to Troy, Illinois at the Triad High School on March the 16th. So two weeks in a row, World League Wrestling doing some uh, big things in the uh, St. Louis area. Mad Champions. Yeah. With a pause it there because uh, for uh, Ben Simon, our ring announcer for tonight's festivities. Here he is, the legacy Leland Race, the son of the eight, maybe nine-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion. They added, they uh, added one more uh, unrecognized reign to the total and made it official. All right. All right, after the break, we're gonna take a look at the Night Champions lineup. You will not miss a second of the action. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna take a look at the weekend schedule. There's the wall of artwork, drawings of the uh, entire roster of the WLW, including uh, the Patriarch, Missouri Heavyweight Champion Harley Race. As we go back to the ring. All right. World League Wrestling from Troy, Missouri, the legendary Race Wrestling Academy. Soon to be legendary, as it uh, opened in uh, 2014. This is my first trip back to uh, Troy, Missouri. I had not been to the uh, Wrestling Academy since it opened in 2014. And 
Leland Race, not impressed by uh, Demarius Jones, 2.0. Hand signals. Leland Race gives him one of his own. Harley Race held the NWA World Heavyweight title a total of eight times. For the longest time, it used to be only seven of those reigns were recognized, but uh, fairly recently. A two-day reign in New Zealand was recognized as the eighth holding of the belt. Of course, Harley Race held a number of NWA Midwest titles, the Central States title, and the Missouri title. Leland Race will be taking on the current holder of the NWA World Heavyweight title, Nick Aldis. Leland Race looking to win his first NWA World title, held by his father a total of seven, eight times in Moscow Mills at the Tri-County Sports Center. at Night of Champions 4, also appearing will be uh, the current NXT champion, Tommaso Ciampa. And that's going to be... Uh, Downgrade him to 1.5. I just wonder if WWE is going to be uh, too thrilled to... Uh, have a WWE title and an NWA title on the same card, but they broke up one of those uh, matches on a and an Evolve event, I believe. Also appearing is former WWE superstar Ryback. So a number. Big things happening at Night of Champions on uh, March the 9th as Leland Race goes to a hammerlock on uh, Demarius Jones and sends Demarius Jones to the mat as Leland Race stalks Demarius armbar and flips him over for a takedown and stops the hand. Well, he won't be flashing any hand signals now. As Leland Race holds up eight fingers, symbolizing, I believe, the uh, eight reigns the Race family have had with the NWA World Title. Also in the lineup, John Webb will be defending the WLW Heavyweight title against his former tag team partner, Jack Gamble. Jack Gamble, of course, was the man who uh, was in that horrific head-on collision. Gosh, five, six years ago. With a, uh, a drunk driver. And a full recovery, of course. We interviewed him on uh, the uh, predecessor of the uh, predecessor program. Also, the WLW tag titles will be defended. Cal Roberts and Rex Fultz. Well, it was a uh, four-team elimination. It's down been reduced to three. The Alpha Omega. Versus Jane Roller and Austin Cravens against the champions Kyle Roberts and Rex Fultz. And looks like, oh! Heart chop from Leland Race. And now moves in on Demarius Jones. And Leland 
Grace with the snapmare and a kick to the back. One. And two count. And Lena Rice goes to the rear headlock. Of course, this weekend is uh, March the 2nd. Events happening this weekend, of course. IWA Unlimited will be going to Noble, Illinois at its usual location. They'll have it their uh, Super Show on March the 1st. They usually run Tuesday nights, but uh, March the 1st they'll have their Super Show. Pitfall Wrestling Association at the 8th Street Gym in Springfield, Illinois on March the 2nd. Well, the uh, ladies making her debut made some news recently as uh, she called out another pervy, called out another pervy discovery. An Iowa wrestler was uh, caught in a pedophile sting. Ark Williams making her debut at Pinfall Wrestling Association called this guy out and uh, made notice that uh, she had been a previous victim of uh, assault and abuse at age 15. Zero point two. <laughs> well, zero point two for uh, Demarius Jones as uh, he cannot make the two with his uh, left hand right now. Also happening this weekend, Midget Wrestling Entertainment comes to Oakville, Oakville, Illinois. That's along I-64 at uh, Club Exit 41. I believe that's adults only. In the ninth, besides World League Wrestling, running in Moscow Mills, New Way Pro in Terre Haute, Indiana, usual uh, location on the ninth. Mid-Missouri Wrestling Alliance at the South Broadway Flood Club on the ninth. Central Illinois Pro Wrestling at South Fork Elementary School on the ninth. Rampage Championship Wrestling in Alton, Illinois at the Franklin Lodge. Yeah, they're gonna have some heavy competition from guys who, uh, it's like World League Wrestling is gonna be giving them some heavy competition. And Mid Missouri. On Sunday the 10th, wrestling over everything in Cahokia, Illinois, or Cerville, Illinois at the Riverside Community Center. And Jones and Race roll into the ropes and Jones, Demarius Jones is going to roll to the outside. Leland Race, when he started his wrestling career, Let's go floor! Demarius Jones taking his time to come back in as Leland Race waits on him. Leland Race did not wrestle under his real name. When he started, he came up with the name Jason Jones, went to wrestle for uh, George South out in North Carolina for the first so many years. After so many years of uh, wrestling on the East Coast, he came back to the Midwest to finish his training and uh, unveil himself as the second generation wrestler, Leland Race. But that was a well-kept secret. Leland Race had to prove that he could stand on his own without the Race Wrestling name. And that is a good strategy. The late uh, Brian Christopher, of course, was the son of Jerry the King Lawler and he kept that name a secret for the longest time. It was revealed that he was the son of Jerry Lawler. He had to establish himself beforehand. So here he is, and he's soon to compete for his first NWA world title. As an axe handle 
from Damaris Jones. Takes down the legacy. And Jones, now the referee's counting. Damaris Jones breaks the count. Now the second weekend, or third weekend of March, will be the return of the United Wrestling Coalition in Homer, Illinois, the Upper House. Leland Race with another chop. World Powerhouse Wrestling in Collinsville, Illinois at the Veterans of Foreign Wars Hall. And, oh, look at this. Damaris Jones picks up Race. Slams him on the concrete. There's no padding out here. Gets back in. Referee counting. Referee gets to almost gets the 10 and Race barely gets back in the ring. Jones pulls him out, goes for the cover. And only a two. SICW will be running East Karen Delano on the 16th. World Wrestling Entertainment comes in to Peoria on St. Patrick's Day at the Peoria Civic Center. Sunday late afternoon show. So, and of course, uh, World League going to Troy, Illinois at the Triad High School. So they have wrestled in Troy, Missouri. They're home, and they will be seen uh, performing in Troy, Illinois. Hope there's no confusion. Referee. Check and race to see if he wants to uh, either give it up or tap out or he's still uh, conscious. And Tamaris Jones jumps up and drops down with that headlock. And referee checks the arm, Leon Race still holding on. Leland Race is still very close to the ropes. He could extend that leg to touch one rope or at least reach out and grab the other rope. I don't know if he knew. I mean, I assume he'd have the ring presence to know where <coughs> to reach. And Damaris Jones going to choke Race. On the middle rope, referee's counting. Now this is, both men have kept this slow and deliberate for most of this contest and another two count for the so-called 2.0. Harris Jones with the rear chin lock. Holding on to Leland Race. Trying to wear him down, but kind of an interesting strategy. He's usually uh, moves at a uh, quicker pace, but. Oh, side suplex! And hangs on! Jones! Hangs on. <laughs> Usually, uh, that side suplex would have broken up that headlock. But Tamaris Jones just hangs on, locks it in tight, not going to let go, trying to get. He's just trying to wear him out, or what? Leland Rice trying to reach for the rope to cause a break. Jones is just trying to get the sleeper hold on, but now he's got to let go. Now 15 minutes into this match. 
Laird to have a little chat about uh, an editorial comment about time limits of wrestling. I touched on it last week with uh, the match between Prince Lee and Jason Hades. <laughs> oh! And Grace just shoves off Demarius Jones. And an insiguri. And down goes Demarius Jones. Waist lock. Now another waist lock. A little to the head. Grace off the ropes. Oh, a drop kick from Demarius Jones. And now Demaris Jones hitting the accelerator, drops him, race down, face first, cover. One, two, to count. Little reminder again about this weekend. Underway Limited in uh, Noble, Illinois on Friday night. March the 1st, they're gonna be having a uh, tournament, I believe. Vigil Wrestling Entertainment in Oakville, Illinois. On the second, Pitfall Wrestling Association will be having their uh, monthly event in Springfield. On the second, it's Demaris Jones going up and race with the drop kick and Demaris Jones held on to the top rope, trying not to go tumbling down to the floor. Which would have been worse for him if he did fall off. Race with the chop. There'll be two women's matches. Brooke Valentine will be taking on Harley and Mark Williams will be taking on Sophie King. As Race goes for a superplex and hits it. And down goes Jones. As Race cannot make the cover. Casey Jackson will be defending the PWA Championship against Jimmy Carrot. It's in Springfield, Illinois. There was a uh, rampage cried holy hell about uh, Peter Bay's announcement that they are going to Quincy on March the 23rd. You know, I warned rampage a y several months ago that if they put on bat multiple bad shows that somebody was gonna go in and take the city from them. They didn't listen, of course, and now they've learned the hard way. Oh, wow! Sunset flip, back of the head, into the turnbuckle. And Jones is out. Jones just got, just got downgraded. Oh, went for a su suplex and Jones landed on his feet. Nope, kick to the face. Look at this! Jones takes him down! Two count! Kind of an inverted RKO of sorts. Anyway, I warned Rampage a, gosh, several months ago, if they put on bad shows, someone was gonna march in and take the, uh, Stop the poisoning of the well. Someone was gonna come in. Any some promotion was gonna come into their territory, or I guess what they claim is their territory. And look at this. Oh go to sleep! Race! Go to sleep! One, two, three! Victorious over Demarius Jones. Yeah, Harley Race uh, World League Wrestling has won in the Quincy area before. They could go back to Quincy and uh, challenge uh, Rampage. But be that as may. Leland Race victorious. 19 minutes. 20 seconds and he will go to Nia Champions 4 to face Nick Aldis for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship and 
do what his father did eight times. Be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Also featuring NXT Champion Tommaso Ciampa and former WWE Superstar Ryback. And of course, Harley Race will be in the house as this is the company he promotes and Leland Rice has the microphone. the mission Leland Race has. Yes, the uh, official count is eight reigns for Harley Race. Final reign in uh, 1984. That'll do it for this edition of PWCI this week as we look at the old previous banners from Night of Champions past. I'm the Mac Conservative Crime Fighter. We shall see you next week. We'll have more from World League Wrestling. Good night.